what's going on. It's Gary with Kraken Studios. I'm here in Newport, Oregon. We're finally putting up the mural I've been working on all winter long. I'm here with uh, Ken and his crew from uh, Newport Signs. They have uh, lived, uh, rented this giant 60 foot straight boom lift to get the job done. Uh, we've already pulled off, the, or, I'm sorry, they have already pulled off the old mural which was rotting away and they're now putting up new uh, pressure treated 2 by 4 on the uh, concrete wall and they're going to put up some marine grade plywood and then they're going to put my mural on top of that. So I'm going to set up a time lapse for that and you guys can kind of check out the process. Pretty excited. It's been a long time. I can't wait to see it. To be quite honest, I've never seen the mural all put together and I've seen it only four panels at a time. So I hope it looks good. Check it out. Yep. So the story starts out that the city of Newport was going to hire somebody to refurbish this mural. Which is uh, pretty faded. And it's from a California artist, Rick Chambers. Which apparently he's just hard to find. <laughs> no one can seem to find him anymore. But he's done several of the murals down here at the historic Bayfront in Newport. And I bid on this job and I won the job. And what happened was the building owner was going to sell the building. And he thinks in order to sell the building, he's gonna have to fix the leak. And in order to fix the leak that happens to be there, uh, he thinks he was gonna have to remove these panels. And this <coughs> mural is painted right directly onto the panels. So, uh, he didn't want to do that and then have to ruin the good work that I did when somebody bought the building or when they have to it. So, the city owns the mural that I'm currently replacing now. So that was just kind of the second thing that worked. Which, uh, I don't know, it would have been easier to paint this mural right here off the ground floor even though it's uneven. I could balance it off with the Baker scaffolding or something. So, uh, let me show you what we've got some of the murals down here at the uh, historic Bayfront. What I never realized, I thought this was a Rick Chambers, but it's not. This one needs to be redone too. It's all faded, it's all airbrushed artwork. I find uh, a lot of that airbrush artwork doesn't seem to last as long as using a nice uh, acrylic on a brush. Uh, Wyland, he used a lot of house paint. He also kind of used an airbrush. It was an airless sprayer. It's looking like you would use to paint your house. And uh, they're faded. They're faded real bad, especially the one in um, Portland, Maine. I was there when we painted that and it was gorgeous. And now it's just uh, almost a non-existent, so bad. I'll show you some more here. Here's the Wyland that we have in Newport. 
It's been here since 1994. So, you can tell when it's not exposed to sun all the time, it actually lasts. I was told that this was an actual residential whale. I want to say his name was Scarback that he painted that kind of lives here in our bay. Super excited. It turned out to be a gorgeous day. It's going up like no issues. And uh, this is again the first time I've seen all these panels put together. I've only been able to see four panels together at once. And uh, I'll see if I can't zoom you in when it's done, of course, to see the final product. But it's awesome. Thanks, Ken. Another Rick Chambers. Probably the newest one he has here anyways uh, pretty excited that I am contributing to the murals here in Newport with my big Newport mural with the big old red arrow pointing down to the Bayfront to hopefully bring people down here and uh, catch up what's going on Hold on. anyways it's pretty cool I can already tell right now that my signature is gonna get covered up <laughs> by the foliage and the way that uh, the way that it sits but that's all right I know I did it <laughs> 